A diesel submarine has two or more diesel motors. One engine drives the turbine, while the other engine drives the generator. The submarine must surface to operate its diesel motors. The sub can dive underwater, but there is a limitation on using battery technology since it drastically restricts the amount of time a submarine can remain submerged. This is the enormous advantage of using nuclear power in a submarine. Unlike diesel motors, a nuclear generator does not require oxygen to undergo chemical reaction, and that is why a nuclear submarine can remain submerged indefinitely. Let us take a look at the 10 best diesel power subs as of 2023. At number 10, the Collins class. The class has been specifically adapted for the Royal Australian Navy. They are the result of five generations of submarines produced by the Swedish Navy. These submarines are one of the first to be completely created by computers and include a wide range of features. They are designed to be very silent, with high-performance hull form, highly automated controls, low indiscretion rates, strong shock resistance, and efficient weapons handling and discharge system. This sophisticated fighting system which gathers intelligence from sensors, computes the input and then launches and directs weapons, outperforms any currently known system. At number 9, the Changbogo class. The Republic of Korea Navy operates attack submarines of the Changbogo class. The class is a licensed-built South Korean variant of the German Type 209 class. The submarines are designed to operate in low-noise environments. To reduce the workload of the crew, each submarine is completely equipped with automated systems. The class is outfitted with a cutting-edge battle management system that integrates multi-purpose consoles for sonar, navigation, and armament systems. The Changbogo class submarines have eight 533mm tubes that can fire 14 surface and underwater target Mod 2 torpedoes, and each torpedo can carry a 260kg warhead and a maximum range of 28 kilometers. At number 8, the Type 206 class. The Type 206 is a small and nimble German submarine designed during the Cold War to operate in the shallow Baltic Sea and target Warsaw Pact in the event of a military conflict. To counter the threat of magnetic naval mines and make detection with MAD sensors more difficult, the pressure hulls were constructed of non-magnetic steel. The 206 class was created in 2003 by modernizing 12 of the class with new electronics and torpedoes. The vessel currently has eight torpedo tubes capable of launching heavyweight torpedoes. The diesel engine produced 600 horsepower on the surface and 1,500 horsepower while submerged. Number 7. The Harushio class The first three boats of the Harushio class were laid down in the late 1980s. It was a follow-on to the previous Yushio class. These small and agile submarines are built during the Cold War to operate in the shallow Baltic Sea and attack Warsaw Pact shipping in the event of military confrontation. The Harushios followed the same basic design as the Yushios, but were slightly larger in all dimensions. More attention had been paid to reducing noise internally, and all had anechoic material applied to the outer surfaces. A stronger pressure hull means the operational diving depth has been increased to some 300 meters. At number 6, the Soryo class. The Soryo class is a diesel-electric assault submarine that is one of the best. These incredibly quiet and capable submarines are the backbone of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces submarine forces and one of the most crucial chess pieces on the chessboard in the Eastern Pacific. The long-standing submarine tradition of Japan laid the way for the development of a good submarine like the Soryo class. Soryo class is one of the competitors of the Royal Australian Navy's Collins class submarines replacement project. Other competitors include the German Type 216, and a French diesel electric variant of the Barracuda class. At number 5, the Walrus class. The Royal Netherlands Navy is the proud owner of four Walrus class diesel electric submarines. These domestic built submarines are unique in their performance. They are expeditionary, which means they are able to carry out missions far from home, long lasting, autonomous, and independent. The Walrus-class submarines are well-dimensioned for long endurance, but quite small by comparison to example nuclear submarines, and this also makes them suitable for operations in coastal, shallow waters. They are internationally considered one of the best in its class. 
at number four, the Type 212A class. German submarines lagged behind other countries after World War II, but the Type 212A is a capable design with a strong reputation. Class 212A Air Independent Submarine is compact and features high payloads for sensors, communication equipment, weapon control systems, and weapons. Great attention has been paid to efficiency and energy management on board. The combination of these factors together with the worldwide unique non-magnetic construction and acoustically optimized equipment results in submarines that are nearly impossible to detect. At number 3, the Project 636 class. Project 636 is the further development of the famous Kilo-class submarines. Being based on rich experience and the best submarine traditions of the submarine shipbuilding, Project 636 has been nicknamed Black Hole for its low noisiness. If compared to the third-generation foreign competitors, the submarine has proved its high reliability and better noisiness, firepower, weapon stocks, and floatability specifications. The submarine is effective against groups of ships and can efficiently search for submarines and destroy them. Project 636 as well can deliver strikes against critical land facilities and set minefields. At number 2, the Gotland class. The Gotland class attack submarine is one of the Swedish Navy's most modern submarines in service, primarily designed for submarine missions such as anti-ship, anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering, electronic signals intelligence, forward surveillance, special operations, and mine laying. Many elements of the class improve stealth, allowing it to remain undiscovered. Sweden has three diesel-electric attack submarines of the Gotland class. When submerged, these submarines may reach speeds of up to 20 knots. These vessels were the first in the world to use an air-independent Stirling engine propulsion system. At number 1, the Type 039 class. The Type 039 class and derivatives are also known as the U1 class. The first of the class, the Type 039A, first made its appearance in a Chinese shipyard in 2006 and caught many naval experts by surprise. Since the class's introduction into service, several variants have subsequently been introduced with the most significant external differences between them being the subsails. While China is currently developing its nuclear-powered submarine capabilities, its diesel-electric submarine fleet remains the backbone of China's submarine forces. The class was primarily designed as anti-ship cruise missile platform capable of hiding submerged for long periods of time in difficult-to-access shallow littorals. And that, guys, was the 10 best diesel-powered subs as of 2023. We're signing off for today, but don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos from the buzz.